Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Java JDK on your Mac operating system. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you how you can check whether Java is really installed on your Mac OS or not. Now, there are two ways for checking it. First is to open your system preferences. There is this icon you can see here. You can just click on this uh, system preferences icon and it's going to open uh, the system preferences for you right and you can see this is the system preferences window and if you see a uh, java at the bottom of uh, this uh, window then java is most probably installed on your system so if java is installed on your system you will be able to see the java icon like all these other icons in your system preferences right you can open system preferences from here also from this uh, apple icon and then you can just click system preferences and it's going to open the same right the second way is uh, to check the java version using the terminal now in order to open the terminal you can just uh, open the spotlight using this search icon at the top you can see and then just write terminal and it's going to open the terminal icon so just click on this and it's going to open your terminal right now in here you just need to type java and then minus version and then press enter and it's going to first of all give you this uh, warning which says no java runtime present requesting install so this means that Java is not installed on my system and I need to install it. And it's going to give me a pop-up window like this, which says to use the Java command line tool, you need to install a JDK. So with the help of this pop-up window, what we need to do is we just need to click this option, which says more info. So just click on this option, which says more info which is going to open the Oracle website. Okay, so you can see it has opened the Oracle website and in here just agree to the cookie conditions and then you will be able to see uh, two uh, buttons here, one for Java and the other for NetBeans with Java. So what we need is this uh, button, which is for Java. And the version of Java is this one, right? Java JDK. So we just need to click this button, which says Java, which is going to open this download page here. Now just scroll down a little. And first of all, you need to uh, accept the license uh, agreement. So you just need to check this radio button. So just check this radio button in front of accept license agreement. And once this radio button is checked, you can just scroll a little bit down and you will be able to see this option for Mac OS X. Okay, so this is the option for Mac OS X and this is about 226 megabyte file and its extension is .dmg file. Okay, so we need to uh, install first of all download and then install using this file our java jdk right so just click on this one which says uh, x64.dmg in front of mac OS, OS X, and once you click this the download for this dmg file will start right now depending upon the speed of your uh, your internet it's going to take few minutes right so I will wait for some time to uh, download to complete and then we will see how we can uh, install Java on our system. So now this DMG file is downloaded. So I'm going to double click on this file. So double click on the downloaded DMG file and it's going to open the installation of this uh, DMG file. You can see the pop-up window will appear like this right let me minimize my browser so we can see it in a better way 
So now you have this kind of uh, window opened when you double click on the DMG file. Now it says double click on the icon to install. So you just need to double click on this icon to install it. And now it's going to start installing the Java JDK 8 in my case at the time of making this video. And you will see this kind of a window. Now you just need to click continue here. And then it says install for all users of this computer. So I just need just that. So I will just click continue. First of all, select this and then click continue. And now uh, it says this will take around this much amount of space of your computer. So if you, uh, you know, agree, then you just need to click install, right? And at the time of uh, installing, it will ask you to give your uh, computer's password. So whatever is the password of your uh, Mac computer, you just need to give it here. So I'm going to give my password here and then I will click install software and now it will start installing the Java JDK software. And now it says the installation was completed successfully, right? So once you see this message, that means Java is installed successfully on your uh, Mac OS. You just need to close this window. And to check this, we are going to open our system preferences once again. So I'm going to just open uh, the system preferences once again using this icon. But this time I'm going to open it with this uh, option in the under the Mac icon. So system preferences and you can see this Java icon here, right? And when you click on this uh, Java icon, it's going to show you this kind of message. The Java control panel opens in the separate uh, window, right? So you can just see this. And you, when you click on this, uh, you know, icon, you will be able to see this kind of Java control panel. And then you will be able to see general information of your Java software you can see if there is any update or not and then you can uh, see uh, some of the other features of java so you can see view the and manage java runtime version so if you want to view java runtime version you can view like this so we have the 1.8 platform the product is 1.8 point zero point uh, something the location is this one so you can see the Java uh, JDK and runtime is uh, installed at this location. You can just see this location or you can just copy this location and we can verify that Java is really installed at this location, right? So what I'm going to do is I will just leave it as opened and I'm going to just minimize the system preferences just and let let just minimize uh, this one also I'm going to just cancel it for now and minimize it for now right now I also told you that you can also verify the Java version using the terminal so once again open the terminal so if you give the same command on the same old terminal before installing uh, you know Java you have opened this terminal and once you uh, see, it will show you uh, this kind of, uh, you know, version of uh, the Java. And you can now see the Java version. So it says Java version 1.8, right? Once again, you can uh, also check the Java compiler by using Java C minus version. And then press enter. And it's also going to uh, give you the version of Java C. So now Java is installed successfully on your Mac OS. Now one thing remains uh, is the setting of Java home environment variable. And this is also very important. So what we are going to do is I'm going to just clear the terminal for now. And first of all, I will switch to my home directory. Uh, by the way, I'm already in my home directory, but if you are not 
if you are not in your home directory you just need to switch it to your home direct directory whatever is your home directory is and if you don't know how to do it you just need to uh, just press this tilde and then the forward slash and before this you just need to write cd tilde forward slash and press just that enter and you will be in your home folder right and i'm going to just ls into this folder which is going to list all the directories and file in this folder so to check whether the java home is really uh, set on your mac os you just need to write this command echo then the dollar symbol and then java underscore home all in capital and if it does not give any output here then java home is not set so for this what you need to do is first of all you just need to do ls minus uh, al here so it it is going to show you all the hidden hidden file also to the terminal i must give ls minus al right and then press enter and i can see in my home folder all these uh, files and directories right so i can see dot history dot bash history is there dot uh, bash underscore session is there so these are all the hidden files with the dot extension now generally uh, we set our java home environment variable in the dot bash underscore profile file but for the first time if you don't see uh, this file in this list then you just need to create this file so if this file is not present don't worry you ju can just create this file which is dot bash underscore profile so we are going to just create this file i'm going to clear the terminal and i'm in the same directory right so i'm going to just write touch and touch is used to create files right and i'm going to create this file dot bash underscore profile okay you just need to create this file and then press enter which is going to create this file we can uh, just do ls minus al once again and now you can see this uh, dot bash underscore profile is created right now inside this dot underscore profile we just need to export the java home variable right so what you need to do is you can just open this dot profile bash profile in an editor so you can just write open minus e to open this file in an editor and then just write uh, bash underscore profile and then press enter which is going to open this dot bash profile in an editor right and you just need to uh, give this command here which is export java underscore home all in uh, you know capital so java underscore home is in capital and then is equal to then the dollar symbol and then uh, in the brackets you just need to give forward slash user forward slash lib exec forward slash java underscore home in smaller and then close your bracket okay so you just need to uh, do this in order to uh, set your java home variable i will just uh, paste this uh, text in the description also so that you can just copy this and just paste it in your dot bash underscore profile file okay so just give this command and then uh, save it so i'm going to just save it you can save it from here also just uh, go to file and click save and then close this file okay and now you just need to close the terminal also once again and i'm going to minimize this and once again i'm going to uh, open the terminal so i'm going to first of all quit this terminal so i'm going to just quit so this is the old terminal on which i was working now i'm going to open the new terminal in order to see the changes right so just open the new terminal and now i'm going to just give the same command echo and then dollar java 
underscore home okay and then press enter and now you can see this location which is the location for your java home environment variable which is set automatically by that uh, command which we have pasted in our bash underscore profile file so now the java jdk and jre is fully installed on your system with this java home environment variable i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now